Hello everyone, welcome to my cat tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make a real stick scene to use a V-Ray IES light in 3ds Max. To learn these steps, you need to watch the full entire video. So let's start it with our 3ds Max IES light. First, we will go to import the 3D file which I have already created browse your file ok select all and press ok close this dialog box and you can see the file is created for the dining table you can download these files and other resources the link is given in the description the small changes need to mention in the properties parameter change the color and intensity do some rotation with the base plane go to the create camera and select V-Ray physical camera and place this camera as I am doing on your screen Select the camera, align the position, select the target and go to the side view, left side view. Adjust the height of the camera so that we can got a clear and perfect image for the rendering. Now make a some distance to capture the whole view. Okay. Now it's time to create a plane. Select plane for create option and create a plane which will cover the whole area for the rendering an image. Adjust the plane on the perfect location. Go to material editor. and go to the render by pressing F10 and select the V-Ray Advance press OK go to the get material and select V-Ray material click on diffuse button and bitmap to select an image all these resources you can download from the given link in the description As you can see, the bitmap is appeared. Adjust the size. Go back to the material. Minimize the foot material. Under the map, you can find the bump option. Click on none and use the bitmap option to upload the bump image. Press open. and adjust the tile also here and you can see the bump reflector change the value to give the higher resolution I am recording this video in rainy season so that's why you can hear some little noise of the rain so enjoy go to the camera view ok the plane is not updating select the plane and place on the right position so here you can see the texture you appeared on the plane now go to the preset and load preset this will also you can download from the link given in the description and then hit quick render this test render is appearing on the screen stay with the rendering ok close it go to the material editor 
and adjust the tiling for the best size. So four and one point two. Give the same value. to the maps diffuse option 4 and 1.2 the center and close the dialog box and hit the test render again so that you can see the changes in the rendering image give it a second here it is up here you can see the previous was a large now it is a in good scale and the good ratio go to the top view front view in top view you can import and merge option and select the object for the VDIS light move to the object move the object to the plane use some scaling if required make a group so that we can click on a simple click Rotate in 90 degree angle. Place on the wall position or plane position. And from the front view, you can adjust the height. Make two copies using clone option. We are trying to test our hit render. Okay, the picture is appearing in this wall. You can see change the height of the fixtures. Now go to the light and select VDI IS light and place in front view, drag and locate the target. Click on none to upload the VDI IS light. Use the IS pack. As I am choosing the scatter option, you can choose any one of them. Select open and here you can see this is our ES light, VRA IES light. Place on the right position with the fixture so that it will appearance like it is. make copy of them use instance option so that if I do anything with the one the all changes will be applied with the both other option place a hit render You can see the light is appearing on the rendering image and it's looking very beautiful as we expected. So we don't need to do the whole render, cancel the render.
change the place select all the lights and targets hold the shift key and make a copy using instant option and rotate on 90 degree 180 degree place on the upper side then go to the camera view and hit a render wait for few minutes and you can see the result if you like the video please share subscribe and comment on the video if you want some more topics please let me know in the comment box You can see the appearance, click on cancel, select the light and change the intensity multiplier and hit render again for the final rendering. You can see the beautiful reflection on that rendering image. You can export image. Thank you for watching this video.